How's it going, Short Kings? It's week 13, and we are coming off of a devastating loss against Marshall in overtime. Looking at the MTSU schedule, um, you know, they've got some ranked losses, but just so many overall. And, uh, you know, when you get beat by 17 uh, at home versus UTSA, that's not a good sign. Before we get into this game, though, we got a little bit of recruiting to do. And if we look, uh, one, two, three, four, five guys, Grady Marks, Gabe Holland, Ulysses Ward, Gabriel Ross, and Rod Willis are all coming to visit during this game. We might be able to add another one as well. Big leads with a ton of players. I know everybody has their scholarships offered, and there's only 30 players we can even look at, so we will just go down to the bottom. Let's see. Let's take some of the points away from some of these bottom top guys. Chance Mead doesn't need him right now, and neither does Rick Thompson. And let's see, so Corey Turner locked us out. That's a shame. It means only 29 guys that now we can try to get. And we will make sure that uh, the lower players are getting as many points as possible. And just like that, recruiting's done for the week. Middle Tennessee is two wins away from being able to play in a bowl game with two games to go in this season. So we're going to do whatever we can to prevent that. But as you can see, 81 overall for them compared to our 72. We're going to hope that uh, our darker blue comes out on top. Middle Tennessee is coming into this game with a pretty solid offense. Um, you know, inside the top 50 for every offensive stat in their defense. Uh, not good, but, a, you know, top 100 for every defensive stat. Meanwhile, we supposedly have a good defense and a not so good offense. Again, some... You know, important players coming to visit this week. We need, would like to rush for 100 yards. Two sacks with a linebacker, four swatted passes, and two picks. Well, we'll see if any of those we can get. At least the sacks with the linebacker and the rushes for 100 yards I think we have a chance at. Their top players are a 89 overall wide receiver, an 87 overall corner, and a 85 overall quarterback. But the corner's injured. How bad is it? Uh, six weeks, so we are not going to have to play... Uh, against that corner and they've got a running back out as well so that'll help us uh, quite a bit I think if we take a look here at the conference USA East standings we can see uh, they're all the way at the bottom meanwhile we're sitting in second and we need Western Kentucky to lose their last two games I don't think it's gonna happen they're the number six team in the country but we can hope for the best We are finally back in the mine. It felt like it's been, uh, gosh, I don't know, a couple months to me, although I know it hasn't been that long. Uh, and we are going to win the coin toss, so I want to get our defense out on the field right away. We've made our adjustments, and with a two-mile-an-hour tailwind, we're going to get a decent kickoff here and get this game underway, trying to get to that eighth win on the season. Middle Tennessee's quarterback's name is Brent Stockstill. Uh, if that's not a quarterback name, I don't know what is. And they are going to hand it off for a great 10-yard carry uh, on the first play of the game. we got to be able to stop that. Let's see. They're going to the air. Can I get there in time? Oh, I knew they were going to pass it to the running back. I was just a little bit late. Let's see. Second down. They're going to the air again. Wide open man over the middle, and they're at midfield. Keeping it in the air. Quarterback's going to scramble. That's all me. Easiest tackle of uh, my career here, I think, in the game. And they're just going to keep passing. Oh, Devin Marks got the deflection. They threw it out into the flat. There's one of our deflections. We need three more of those for one of our recruits. And now it's third and eight. They're going to hand it off. I can't get off my block. He's going to bowl over him. And gosh, we got lucky that he was stumbling because Shane Tucker had a lot of green in front of him. It's a really risky play call to run it there on third down, but it worked. And now the screen will work for four. It's second and six now. They're going to go to the air some more. Quarterback got sacked. There's, I don't think it was a linebacker, but still a sack for us. And it'll be third and 12. 
Okay, passing on third down. Can I have some decent coverage? They're going to go over the middle. Can we get there in time? Barely. Oh, it's fourth and inches. I could see them going for this. They're going to bring out the field goal team, and uh, we were in the field goal zone, but they're going to go ahead and false start for us. So not too worried about them faking it now. Fourth and five. The kick is up, and ooh, that kicker put it right down the middle. Fantastic way for them to get points on the board. It's Florida Atlantic beats up on Old Dominion. Well, all things considered, I'd say that uh, holding them to a field goal was pretty solid there as Gene Nunez can take this one out of the end zone. He's got the edge. Does he have the corner? He does. That's a great return. We're going to start across the 40, almost near midfield. I'm going to give uh, Richie Kirk an opportunity to throw here on first down. We have a wide open A.J. Norton, but I honestly forgot how bad Richie is. That was such an awful attempt. Maybe now we can find Tlaib Noel. No, Richie just missing his open receivers, and it's third and ten just like that. Got to hope for the best here on third down. Let's get... Oh, what a bad pass. That was to Dane Upshaw, and Richie misses badly for the third time in a row. That makes it fourth and ten, and I'm going to have to punt. I know that we might be in four down territory, but not if uh, Richie's going to be this garbage. Let's see. Can I get it a decent punt? Are they going to have a chance to return it? They do field it. I'm absolutely whiffed with the first guy, and now they're across the 40 to start their second drive. Well, the offense couldn't do anything their first time out on the field. Defense held them to a field goal, but we need an actual stop now. That's two broken tackles, three broken tackles. Oh, my gosh. Atavius Mathers goes 31 yards, and they're going to keep this hurry up going. It feels like we're going to get absolutely embarrassed here at our home field. This has to be a sack. Finally pulling down the quarterback. He got back to the line of scrimmage, though. They will put it on the ground on second and ten, and we'll get the third and five, but we haven't looked great in these situations yet. And again, they help us out. That's going to be another false start. Back him up to a third and long. Crowd is getting into it here. Third down and 10. They're going to go to the air. It's a screen. I was way late to react to it, but Caps is able to get there. And we'll force him out of bounds. So fourth and seven, we'll see another field goal attempt here. <laughs> so bad at the timing on that. They'll get it through. Another good kick from this guy, and they're going to go up 6 nothing. I got to feel a little bit confident about this game if we're going to just continue to hold these guys to field goals, but... Uh, our offense needs to get something going, or maybe Gene Nunez can do it. No, uh, not a good return. Didn't get the block on the edge, and we're inside our own 20. We're going to run the ball on first down this time and just try to get some positive yards. Richie's able to get two, and hey, it's infinitely better than last drive. Second and eight. We're going to step back to throw. There we go. We finally find a man. It's Donnie Schaefer across midfield. Oh, he doesn't quite have the speed to take that, but it's 38 yards through the air. Finally, an accurate pass from Richie Kirk. It's nice to know that if we could put a touchdown on the board here is Talib Noel goes. Ooh, not fast enough for the touchdown, but a great carry. If we can get a touchdown, we'll take the lead. It's back-to-back -back first downs, back-to-back -back big plays, and we get a third one as we find A.J. Norton inside the five. We have had problems in these short yardage situations. I honestly do not like what I'm seeing, so we're going to audible out of this. Go into the shotgun. And let's see if we can't just go ahead and throw for a touchdown. First and goal. Is anybody open? Oh, I'm not seeing anything. Guy's kind of coming open late, but I got to get rid of that before we take a big sack. This might be what we're looking for. Three down linemen for the defense. We're going halfback smash to Tlaib Noel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. He broke off the first one. Somehow got a yard out of that. Just, I don't even understand how that worked. The problem now is that it's third and goal. We're going to try the speed option. See if Dane Upshaw can get a block for us. And we got to be careful with the pitch. And we get it off. Tlaib Noel should have the end zone, and he gets in. Great pitch from Richie. We're all tied up. A chance to take the lead if we can get this extra point. Shouldn't be a problem with this kick. We drove 80 yards or so. For that one and had no problems it felt like I just want to see the defense come out and get one more good stop um, early in this half Donnell Jolly with a decent kick and they're gonna have a pretty solid return 26 yards 
First and 10, I'm expecting them to go to the air. Seven seconds in the first, they will call a pass. And, oh, I knew that they were gonna go to him, but I just couldn't react in time. And Richie James gets 20 yards there. That'll end the first quarter, we're up by one. Defense doing enough to hold Middle Tennessee State to field goals. And after a terrible first drive, the offense really got it together. First down from about midfield, they're gonna go with a draw and pick up three. That's a honestly a pretty decent stop. Second down, it's another draw. Can we stop him again? Fantastic, he didn't even get anything. Back to the line of scrimmage is it. He only got back to the line of scrimmage that time. It's third and seven, they're gonna go to the air. Do we have any sort of coverage? Benjamin too slow to get there. And they're gonna find Rod Ducksworth for the first down. Maybe it's this hurry up that they're bringing that's slowing the defense down a little bit. On first down, they're gonna keep going to the air. Marks, you need to shove him out of bounds. We can take gains of two, but something has gotta be figured out elsewhere. Second and eight now. Oh great, they're gonna take all the time in the world apparently to get this one off. It's another pass. Decent coverage. What is the quarterback doing? He just hurdled a defensive lineman and took off on the scramble and almost picked up the first down. It's third and inches. Third and inches. Now, we should probably be blitzing here. This has to be going to Mathers, right? No, they're going to pass. I've left my man open. Doesn't matter because somebody else left theirs. Penn gets a touchdown saving tackle, but it's still a first down. Inside the red zone now. Uh, that's a decent run stop. Uh, hope to hold these guys to another field goal here. Seven to six. It would be the end of the world if they scored, I guess. Expecting it to go to the air, it will. Our coverage is decent. I can't get there with caps, but Penn's gonna knock him down. It's third down again. I feel like maybe I should be blitzing on this one. It's not their starting running back in, so that's helpful, but on third down, I'm expecting a run. Oh, they're going to go to the air. It's a fake screen. Quarterback's going to scramble. Oh, I took a terrible angle with Caps. We do get the shoestring tackle, but it's first and goal. Oh, the season of blitzing is going to commence now. And never mind. They help us again. It's another false start. That's their third of the game. That penalty backed them up to the seven-yard line. And that's going to give us a lot more breathing room on the defense. Quarterback, oh my gosh, I left my man wide open in the back corner of the end zone, but Brent Stock still missed him. That's only a second in completion. Second and goal, they're in a tight formation here. Kind of run a screen. Penn is able to blow it up. Wow, I thought they were going to get the block. We only give up. No, we they lost two. It's now third and goal from the nine. We could see a screen here. So I'm going to play up close to the line. No, it'll be a pass. Can I get him with caps? There we go. Holding them, it looks like, to another field goal attempt. Well, they're not going to have a problem getting it. The fact that we've held them to nine is pretty impressive. We've got 244 to work with. This will bring Gene out of the end zone. And, oh, wow, I thought I was honestly going to have a really good return there, but we got popped. Our offense so far has only run 10 plays. We had that quick three and out, and then uh, the really good touchdown. There's nothing doing. I'm just gonna, I guess, get back to the line of scrimmage. Didn't feel confident on that last play, making a throw. We're gonna go to the ground on second and 10, try to get some of it, and Talib, I couldn't make the cut that I wanted, so it's now third and eight. Going with the four verts. On this third and long, we'll see if maybe I can throw somebody. Oh my gosh, so Bruh. inaccurate, so inaccurate. Richie Kirk throws the pick there across midfield, and I'm glad that that wasn't a pick six. Oh, trying to hold these guys to another field goal now. Two minutes in the half, and wow, that should have been a hit in the backfield, but Caps just got stiff-armed into oblivion. He went straight to the shadow realm on that one, and now it's second and three. They will go to the air. Quarterback scrambling. That might be a sack. It is. Brent Stock still sacked, I think, for the second time this game, and it's third and six now. Getting a stop would be massive. They go with the option. Can I get Caps out there? He easily gets the tackle at the line of scrimmage, and we'll take a timeout. It's fourth and six, and again, we've held this team to another field goal attempt. A minute and 15 on the clock. 
Not going to really have a chance to block it, but he finally missed one. Oh, college kickers coming to save my bacon. That gives us mediocre field position. A minute and 11 and two timeouts to try to go down the field and take the lead. And that was just a, another bad throw. Didn't mean to throw off balance on that one. Richie Kirk is now two of eight passing today. That's just not going to get it done. Oh, let's just go for a dump off. Upshot. What the heck happened? Dane Upshot across midfield. He's across the 45. He caught it with so much speed. And he goes 30 yards. Holy macaroni. It was an inaccurate pass by Richie Kirk. I don't know how we almost missed him. But it worked out in our favor. We got a couple of blocks. And Dane was off to the races there for a second. I never expected that to happen. And now there's 50 seconds on the clock. Richie, let's just scramble this. Defensive lineman unable to catch me. And we can get out of bounds. Stop the clock and get six yards. Kind of looking at Donnie Schaefer here on second and four. The timing... I don't know why I tried to use a rim. I thought that the corner was going to be able to jump the route. And so I used her Donnie Schaefer to try to make the catch, but he screwed us over. It's third and four now, and we have not been good on third down so far. Getting Richie outside the pocket. Why? A.J. Norton is open. The back juke worked on one guy, but there's too many players around him. Still a first down. And with 35 seconds to go, we're going to hope for the best. I might heave one up to Norton. He's on the fade. The coverage, oh, I don't like it. Scrambling Richie again because it's going to work all too well inside the 10 and out of bounds at the 5 with 23 seconds to go and still two timeouts. One thing is for certain to me, if the Blue Raiders want to stop us, they got to stop Richie Kirk and we find Dane Upshaw oh, at the goal line. He's got to go half an inch deeper into the end zone and that's a touchdown. Hopefully we can just run this in with Richie on the QB sneak. I want him going to the left. That linebacker's a little bit further off and Richie on the sneak doesn't have it. Does not have it. You got to take a timeout. We're going to give it one more chance here before settling for a field goal before the half. 12 seconds on the clock and Richie easily into the end zone that time. Taking the lead again. And it helps that we get the ball to start the third quarter as well with the extra point we're now up five with 12 seconds in the half wanted to kind of squib this but didn't call the squib so we'll see what that does yeah that that works they're gonna be able to return it a little bit and uh, nine seconds a little prevent should be fine you know i just i just looked for some reason uh in between plays there but it seems like this quarterback's dad is the coach because Rick Stockstill is currently the coach of Middle Tennessee. These guys want to go for the kick on this one. We're going to put the punt return team out. Two seconds in the half. You never know. Gene Nunez could get us a kick six if this is short. It is. Wow. Had the distance, but bonked off the left upright. This kicker's got a leg. Misses his second in a row, though. At halftime. That five-point lead, getting the ball as well, might be just enough for us to pull away. Ah, yes, the Nissan Halftime Report, where I would throw my sponsors if I had any. <laughs> Instead, let's take a look at a couple of highlights, see if there's anything that's worth mentioning. A nice sack there. How about this run just breaking all sorts of tackles? He was hungry for that. And Richie Kirk throwing at some nice passes. Uh, seemingly out of nowhere. We'll get right into the third quarter here. And it's going to be a Gene Nunez return. This one could be big. I love that they put it on the outside of the hash. I'm just not getting the blocks I need. I can't get to the edge. So it's not a good return again. It leaves us with a long ways to go on this drive. We'll start it with a halfback plunge from Talib Noel. That's a good carry. Flag down, though. This could be a holding. Maybe even a clipping. Yep, we're coming back way far. Well, it's now first and 17, so not at all what we wanted to see. We will try the screen, snapping the ball from our own 10. The screen should work. Talib Noel has a couple of blockers. Can't get to the edge, though. Oh, the cut block. He just hurtled it and hit him. It's second and long now. I'm kind of honestly 
looking for Khalif James and only Khalif James. He's got the one-on-one. -on -one. He makes the nice play and oh, corner got a little aggressive there and almost left Khalif with a lot of space to run. Just a great ball and Khalif kind of stepped forward just enough to secure that catch. On third and three, we'll call the speed option. Oh wait, on third and three, I wanted to call the speed option. I got my plays wrong. A is open. Oh my god. Richie, what are you... Oh. Is he smoking meth on the sidelines? He is so inaccurate. I have no idea what's wrong with Richie Kirk. But we're going to have to punt another one away. And again, I just want this to go out of bounds. We don't want them to get good returns. And I'd rather just give it to them at the 40 instead of allowing them a chance to take one to the house. Hope that the defense can continue to hold here into the second quarter. First drive for Middle Tennessee. We have decent coverage. Oh, I knew it was going to Pettis. I just couldn't get there in time. I want a user pick so bad. And we're able to get four out of that one. This leaves him with a second and six. And that's going to be a play action. I got kind of burned, but he just couldn't hit his man. We got lucky there. Big third down for this defense. They're going to go to the air again. And I got beat, but the quarterback's already running, but he got the first down. Benjamin just hesitated a little bit, unable to get there in time. Stock still is able to slide across midfield. And that's a quick first down for him. He's going to scramble again and then take the sack. Third sack of the game. Well, we could probably expect some more passing in this situation. Maybe a screen, but no, they'll put it on the ground. I didn't expect it to go to the edge. Ferris slows him down. Walter's able to finish it off. So third and long, we got a good chance here on defense. Again, always got to be wary of the screen on these third downs. It's going to just be a pass to a wide open Pettis. Uh, that was kind of my zone. And just like that, it's a first down inside the red zone. I sold out way too much expecting that one to be a screen. And I definitely paid the price. They'll put that one on the ground. I don't know what the running back's doing hurdling, but it apparently works out. Octavius Mathers just goes into the end zone untouched. We're gonna go for two here on the extra point. And we're gonna hit the quarterback. He's running, he's scrambling, and we'll sack him. So it's back to a one point lead for the Blue Raiders. And again, Nunez hoping for some sort of return. We got a couple of blocks that time. And at least we got across the 30. Going with a toss on first down. Noel has some blocking and kind of has the edge. That's a great carry. Not at all what we expected. And that's a very quick first down. Play action now as we get near midfield. I'm going to again get Richie outside the pocket. Y is open if we can get it there. And just sailed right over Norton's head, I feel like. That should have been a catchable ball. Second and 10. We're going to go to Tlaib on a screen again. Except we're actually not. We're just going to scramble Richie Kirk because they're not doing anything. <laughs> Not doing anything to stop him. Oh, that's... I don't understand what's going on. I thought they had to leave pretty well covered, so I just didn't want to make a bad throw. And ended up working up very well for us. And there's A.J. Norton with a 23-yard gain there. I, again, I think that uh, rushing for 100 yards was one of our recruit goals, and we would love to fulfill that. So we'll run it as much as we can. And there's another three. Puts us at 76 on the day. Go to the air on second and seven and to leave wide open inside the 10, almost inside the five for a first and goal. Uh, we should at least take the lead back here. On first down, we'll put it on the ground. To leave, nice cut, untouched into the end zone. There's our touchdown and we get our lead back. And after they failed going for two, now we're gonna go for two. Try to make it a full seven point game. We were probably gonna just roll Richie outside the pocket. I want Norton just inside. This should work. Richie rolling, rolling. A's wide open. We find Dane Upshaw. And he tried not to go in, but he eventually makes his way there. The two-point conversion's good. And it'll be 22-15. to 15. A very typical football score as we go up a touchdown late in the third quarter. Curious to see if we can get a decent stop on the return. And oh my gosh, I just obliterated Atavius Mathers. They didn't have a chance, and I think that was Noel's second rushing touchdown of the day. Blue Raiders are inside the 20. 
as they start this drive. If the D can just get a nice quick stop, that'd be fantastic. I saw the man wide open. I could not get Ferris there in time, though. We were so close to a pick. It just doesn't come. Second and two. That's going to be a run. Can I get Caps there in time? No, or wait, way too early on the dive. Yeah, they get the first down. It's another first down. And it's another screen pen. You got to pull him down or at least hold him up for the rest of the team to get there. Good job. Second and ten. Tight formation here again. What did we see last time? This one's going to be a run. It's a counter out towards the edge. Oh, I just whiffed with pen. And it's just another 16-yard carries. Mathers is looking pretty solid today. But he's going to get eaten up at the line of scrimmage that time. Less than 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. Second and 10. It's going to be another draw. And he shouldn't be able to get, yeah, more than two yards. They're five wide on third and eight. I'm curious to see. They should be able to get this off before the end of the quarter. Final play of the third. Keep you draw for some reason. Wide open man. Devin Marks just couldn't get the early tackle, so they get the first down. Hold up your fours because we're into the final quarter of this game with a seven point lead but the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee State driving just need to hold them one or two more times on defense this is going to be a great carry they have all the blockers Benjamin diving slows him down but it's a first and goal we are in a lot of trouble right now on defense I don't think that they can afford to kick a field goal either so we got four plays to stop them from getting into the end zone here they're going to run it the first one. It's up to Hamilton. He slows him down, but it's a touchdown for the backup running back. We will assume that this field goal is going to be good. Oh, I was way offside. <laughs> Kick is good anyways, though. They're going to decline it, so extra points good, and we're all tied up. Oh, if Gene wanted to choose a time to score another return for us, this would be it. Nunez. Has a couple of blocks. Kind of has the corner. And that's fantastic. Across the 35, 540 to go in the game. Uh, we could probably burn a lot of this out. And maybe just score once and win. I'm going to go conservative tempo on this drive. To burn as much clock as possible. And hopefully we can just have a lot of that. AJ Norton getting the catch. And Richie, he's got to be accurate on this drive. We've got a very conservative offense now. Handing it off to Noel. Uh, that should have been a lot more, but we'll take the three yards. Bring out the toss now on second and seven. We just need a couple of blocks for Talib. He's got one on the edge. Makes a man kind of miss, and it's third and short. This is a very important third down. We'll try the read option to keep it on the ground and not have to risk running. Richie's going to keep it, and he's going to get hit in the backfield. Fourth and eight. I don't even think we can go for this. This might have to be us punting it away. Hopefully we can get them pinned pretty deep. But with three and a half minutes, we got to see if the defense can come out and get a stop. And that's going to be returnable. The question is, can we tackle them early? Morris misses. Okay, they're at the, about the 25. Defense can show up. It's just a matter of if they will. The sun is almost setting here in Maine. 3.20 to go on the clock. They're going to go a draw first play, and it's going to work way too well. Easy first play, first down. Oh, this game was ours if we could have converted that third and short. But instead, it looks like we might be in trouble. We're definitely on the back foot. Just over three minutes to go in this game. And the quarterback's going to scramble. This is a big sack if we can get him. It's a loss of seven. And the clock will keep moving. The coverage is doing just enough to allow our defensive line to get pressure on the quarterback here. Second and 17. They're going to go play action. Plenty of time. Penn, you need to get this tackle. We gave up 15, but at least it's a third down. We're going to bring pressure here. Press everybody up. It's going to be a play action. And there's the first down across midfield. That's a bummer. Try the corner blitz now. Back up my uh, defensive tackles into coverage. First down. They're going to run. There we go. Good stop. Still, though, two minutes to go. They could be burning the clock on us, and we might have to start taking timeouts real soon. Back off into cover three. Quarterback scrambling again. 
one broken tackle. And we get the uh, the tackle right at the line of scrimmage, third and nine. Big, big play here. So much is riding on the defense getting a stop here. I, I really hope that they throw a screen, but I'm not expecting it. Burning as much time as they can off the clock. And Duckworth does not get the first down. I'm going to wait to see if they're going to be in the field goal formation before we take our timeout, and they will. So take the timeout. A minute and 18 on the clock. <sighs> They've got the anti freeze skill, but that's not why we took the timeout. We're going to be in the field goal safe zone. In case they fake this, the, that's a false start. Helps us tremendously. And while this kicker came out and uh, made his first three, he's missed his last two. And our free skill was activated again, so I don't know what's going on here. And it looks like it's good, though. <laughs> I'm glad the game decided to give us a cinematic view of that. Down three now. A minute and 14 to go in the game. And I need everybody on the offense to execute. And hopefully we can actually start it with a little bit of special teams execution. Gene Nunez has so much... So much stamina. He has the edge. Gene Nunez in a foot race against 83. He's across the 45, across the 35. And we're almost in field goal range immediately. A minute and five to go in this game. How blessed are we not to have any penalties on that one. Richie Kirk, no picks. No stupid decisions. Rolling out of the pocket. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought I threw a pick and I was able to use her AJ right in front of the linebacker to get it. There's zero reason that that should have worked as well as it did. Richie barely above 500 on the day now. We're going to hand it off to Talib, who's got the edge. He's going north, and he's got another first down, stopping the clock again, allowing me to save my timeouts. 46 seconds now on the clock. We're going to hand it off again. Offensive line doing just enough, and Talib falling forward for five. Let's go hurry up. 35 seconds on the clock. I got to make sure that I get something off. We want a quick pass. Uh, I might just scramble a little little bit here with Richie. But Upshaw going the other direction. Richie outside the pocket. A lot of space to work with. Sliding, diving. It's a first and goal with 18 seconds to go. Call a halfback tra trap on the first play. In fact, I wanted to go the other direction. And Noel with 16 seconds gets into the end zone. 15 on the clock and we've got the lead. Holy buckets. I was not expecting that North Main State with the three-point lead. And pending this extra point, we could force Middle Tennessee to need a touchdown to win. We get the extra point, no problem. Now it's up to the defense to just hold them a little bit. The Blue Raiders do have all of their timeouts, but only enough time for a few plays, and this one's going to burn a few seconds off the clock. It's returnable. Casey with a great hit. And Blanchard finishes it off inside the 20 again. 11 seconds to go. We're going to go full on prevent on this one. And he dropped it. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. The pressure. Too much for that wide receiver. Eight seconds to go now. Only so many plays that they can run. Quarterback's going to scramble and they've got to take a timeout. Three seconds to go. One play left. A field goal won't do them any good. They've got to throw up the bomb and hope for the touchdown. It's going to be a Hail Mary. I'm going to send Gross back as an extra man uh, just to help tackle if it comes to that. And this one was almost caught. Wow, that was bounced around for a long time. <laughs> Hard skip to beat there, but we're going to win. Clock hits triple zeros, and it's the Dwarves who take it in another ESPN Classic game. Winning it by four, and how about Talib Noel? Three rushing touchdowns for him. S only 68 yards on the day on 12 carries and a couple of nice receptions, but, uh, you know, we had to do most of that with some iffy passing. Eight and three on the season now. And, uh, man, if the defense didn't show up like they did today, we would have been blown out, but the D held them to, what, five or six field goal attempts? Absolutely incredible, and thankfully their kicker was... Uh, mediocre today taking a look at our stats Richie Kirk the 119 passer rating 55% on the day 177 yards through the air which is not good for us no touchdowns and a pick and he got sacked once as well Talib ran it for 68 yards while Richie ran it for 39 and then 
they had all of our touchdowns. Three for Tlaib, and Richie had the other one on the QB sneak there near the end of the half. A.J. Norton was the man of the day receiving-wise. Uh, 77 yards on five catches for him. But Dane Upshaw also had a couple of big ones. On defense, no interceptions, only one deflected pass, but it's the sack game that matters. We had four of them, all from different guys. Um, two, ever, yeah, all defensive linemen just getting it done. In the end, they way outgained us on offense, but, you know, when you're not able to score touchdowns when you get in the red zone, it's pretty rough. They outran us. They outpassed us. They were better on third downs. They didn't have to go for it on fourth downs. But them failing the two-point conversion and missing a couple of field goals is the only thing that matters. And how about our kick return yards compared to theirs? Oh, man. G. Nunez just getting it done. Also, the four false starts that they had really cost them in some pretty important moments. Oh, unfortunately for us, as we look around the country, Louisiana Tech was unable to take out Western Kentucky. They beat them 24 to 10. So the Hilltoppers are going to be able to clinch the CUSA East Division with that win. That just means we're not going to be able to play in the conference championship game. As we look at our defensive player of the game, Brent Caps, nine tackles. Not super impressive on the stat line, but some pretty big tackles in there. This game is calling me a little middle school kid, I guess, because uh, it says I'm a squeaker. Blue Raiders bow out at the end to North Main State, 29 to 25. That's a good win for us. We'll advance the week here just to see what it looks like against Western Kentucky. And look at that. Because of the, the game and the big victory, Hawk Disco is now going to be level four. We had some decent visits, and unfortunately, we do get locked out by a 53 overall wide receiver, but that shouldn't be the end of the world. Tons of finalists. Lombardi, best returner to Gursky, linebacker, Benerick, Groza. That's a lot of free XP force, and actually probably the reason why we actually leveled up. And thankfully, this game is at home because we have to play against the 11-0, number six in the nation, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. There's going to be a lot of recruits visiting this game, so hopefully we're, we look good. Uh, Herb Street, maybe rightfully so, going to be favoring Western Kentucky. They lead in every single uh, statistical category here, except for rush defense and where we're third in the country, and they're, they're right behind us at 10. This team is good. Uh, a few close games, but they've felt pretty comfortable, it feels like, in most of these. But that's going to do it for us today. If you enjoyed what you saw, think about maybe heading over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 where we're live with our UTEP death penalty promotion relegation rebuild. A lot of words there, but it's a lot of fun on that one. And if you want to see more here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, my name is Poon. You guys are the Short Kings. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.